Hello and welcome back to Chris Course Channel Plays Bioshock Infinite. Today we're going to be talking about the Big Bang in the early universe. Uh, this is part of a new sort of series I'm thinking of doing on astronomy because it's rather a passion of mine. I'm extremely fond of astronomy. Uh, let's have a quick look around here. Uh, we're chasing some random girl for some reason. <laughs> if, if you've forgotten the last one. Oh, hi. End this indeed. There we are. I'll see to finish them. I'd rather just shoot them. It's much easier. Flee. Um, but yes, I'm thinking of maybe putting up one astronomy video each week and two ones and other topics, but I'm not sure. I could use feedback on whether you'd be interested in that or not. Because uh, I'm not entirely sure how interesting you'd find it. Just stay where you are! Wh where is she? Oh, she's up there. Hello. Is she going to get into a thing and piss off? Yeah, there's get a surprise. Hey, come back here! Jump! Okay, we're in. We're fine. Hi. Hello? Yeah, let's pull the lever. I might have to stop talking for a while to let her speak. This is going to be slightly awkward trying to do a topic. I can't believe you did that. They're all dead. Yes, they are. You killed those people. Thank you. Elizabeth. You're a monster. What did you think was going to happen? Hmm? What? Do you understand the expense that people went through to keep you locked up in that tower? You think people like Stop that reverting my view. I want to look up there. You are an investment, and you will not be safe until you are far away from here. What, what do they want from me? I don't know. That's the last time anyone gets the drop on me. Okay, she's come to her senses. Thank God for that. Oh, I've been injured. Let me see your hand. Okay. If you bandage it up, I'm just going to burn it off again in seven seconds with that thing. <laughs> It's not the last of it, is it? Nope. I don't know. No, I do know it's not. There. <laughs> right, but yes, uh, today's thing, basically, the Big Bang in the early universe is a vastly complex topic, so I'm not going to be able to cover all of it. Um, but I'm going to do my best to give a fairly concise explanation of the main things and keep it as non-mathematical as possible, though, again, that's quite difficult. Um, so, yes, basically, the universe is 13.798 billion years old, as measured earlier this year, in fact, earlier this month, well, last month, by the ESA's Planck Telescope. Um, you might remember that from, yes, I do want to leave Battleship Bay. Yep, leave from uh, the articles with that pretty oval picture with lots of green and blue and red in random distributions. That, that was that data that was estimating the age of the universe, among other things. Um, and you probably just glossed over it and thought it was a weird science the article. That was actually an extremely important bit of astrophysics. Uh, probably one of the most significant bits in recent years. Uh, but yeah, uh, uh, oh. Okay, I'm now going to have to shoot some things. Because that has blown up. Hello? Okay, shut up tight. Now how are we going to get to the airship? What, you still want to go to Paris, do you? Open by hand? Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> Good luck with that. Yeah, at the start, the universe was an infinitely dense point of energy referred to as a singularity, and it expanded for an unknown reason. We, we really don't know. Basically, our physics... Our physics completely breaks down at those kind of scales. We have no idea really what happened. There are theories, but nothing widely accepted. Hello? Salt machine. Oh, they just have those lying around. How nice. <laughs> Um, and the expansion started as an inconceivably hot and dense phase that was homogeneous and isotropic, and that, that means that it was uniform across the entire thing. Every single point in the universe was equal to every other one. Uh, the distribution of matter and energy and things was the same all the way around. Hi, guys. Don't mind my gun. Um, possibly so. I'm just going to follow you. Um, you're running quite a bit faster than me. Of course, in a normal game fashion, if I run, I run faster than you, because we can't synchronise these things. No, that would be useful. <laughs> uh, yeah, then one ten billionth of a billionth of a billionth of a billionth of a second after this process started. Yes, yes, that was correct. It's a minuscule quantity of time afterwards. Um, a process called inflation began. And... Pull it. Yes, inflation is an exponential expansion which lasted about 
um, 10 to the minus 32 seconds, which is you know, a minuscule fraction of a nanosecond. It's basically no time on a human scale. It is no time whatsoever. It's basically instantaneous. Of course it is. Right, go on. I'll follow you. Um, no. Oh, bugger. <laughs> but yes, uh, inflation was a massive increase in volume. To give you an idea of how fast the volume of the universe expanded, at the beginning of this period, if at the beginning of this period it was the size of an atom, by the end of this period it would be approximately one cubic light year in volume. So a cube uh, with a side so long that it takes light a year to get from one side to the other. Oh crap, no. I'm trying to talk about the universe here. <laughs> You're not making this easy. Also, the person I'm protecting is run off. Uh, yes, I am going to take cover to recharge my shield. Thank you. Now, where's the guy who wants to crush me like a bug? There's one of them. Ooh. He was a bit close and did quite a bit of damage. Okay, now hopefully that's all of them. I didn't think so. Hey. Oh, that's her. Look. Stop it. Right. Uh, so, yeah. The speed of light is 670 million miles per hour. And it takes light a year to go down the side of this cube. That's, a, <laughs> which, that's a phenomenal volume. And it expanded to that from the size of an atom. In a fraction of a second so small it might as well be zero. Uh, it's... It's astonishing. People who've studied this for their entire lives still find this astonishing. It never becomes less less mind-boggling. Uh, if it doesn't confuse you, you don't completely understand it, basically. It's like quantum physics. Uh, we're back here. Do you know where we're going? I don't. Let's go this way. No, but that's where we came from. Let's go this way. Um, where the bloody hell are we going? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I'm busy trying to talk about things. Um, oh, dear. Right, let's look around. It's clearly not up here, is it? Maybe it's over this way. I'm also pretty much out of ammo, which isn't helpful. Uh, I have no idea where we're going. Ah, oh, right, we're going up there. Got you. Right, let's quickly buy some ammo off this guy, then I'll resume talking. Um, there we go, full ammo. That's what we want to see. Oh, and I am on no health whatsoever. whatsoever so let's get a health kit. There we go. Right, um, but yes, after this inflation occurred and the universe massively increased in volume, it was what was known as a quark gluon plasma, which is... Use the radio? No. Which is basically just a mixture of sub-subatomic particles. Yeah, the particles that make up the particles that make up the nucleus of atoms. Um, because it was too hot for any other matter to exist, it would have just disintegrated again because of the temperature. So let's find the lift button. There we are. And then, in that kind of stage, something called baryogenesis happened, which is a completely unknown oh, reaction where is we get stuck wrong? in a lift. Yes, something is wrong. I can't fix. Are we going up on top of the lift? Or are we just going to ha hammer the button again? I gotta get this thing moving again. Yes, I got that. Thank you. Flashy thing? Oh, do we have to smash through there? Ah, investigate fuse box. Right. Uh, but yeah, baryogenesis is a completely unknown reaction. We don't know what caused it, or even really what it was, because um, it's kind of beyond our ability to observe at this point. Oh, it's a bee. I, I hate these I hate things. bees as well. Just kill it. No, it'll sting me. Elizabeth. <laughs> I have a better idea. I fully agree with her. Wait, what, what are you doing? Opening a tear. Oh, shit. Cool. What is that? It's a tear. I used to open them all the time in my tower. <laughs> What is a tear? It's like a, a yes, okay. A window. <laughs> a window to another world. Creepy, all-powerful girl. Most of the time, their doll is dishwater, a different colored towel or tea instead of coffee. Hmm. Interesting. But sometimes, sometimes they. But see yes, baryogenesis amazing. caused a surplus of matter over antimatter in the universe, which is why today we have a load of matter and pretty much no antimatter. Well, I suppose you've got an airship in there. I don't think so. Um, but and a mysterious process, but really important, because without it, there wouldn't be any life, or at least we'd all be anti-life. So... Oh no. I, I'm trying. Closing it quicker. Thank you. <laughs> the protector of the lamb. You are the lamb. I don't really understand what I just saw back there. 
But it sure as hell looks like a shortcut <laughs> to getting us killed. But I could help. I can handle whatever comes along. Hello? Trust me. Let's activate this display. I'd want to use the all powerful girl since I've got her, but no, okay, fine. We will we will just shoot people. But yes, um then after Barrier Genesis, about one microsecond after the Big Bang occurred, so we're still, you know, oh, we've got a speed thingy. Yeah, one microsecond after the Big Bang, this quark-gluon plasma condensed into protons and neutrons, which are the subatomic particles that make up the nucleus of atoms. So that's when the first ones of those appeared. Okay, our hands are disintegrating now. All of these vigor things look really quite painful. Press to launch your enemy is into the air. No, go away. <laughs> oh, maybe I should equip it just in case. Go on, bucking bronco. Ooh, at least we get lots of them from our amount of salt. Right, we're going to have to test this out. Whoosh! Into the air with the... Yes, the false shepherd is back. And kicking your ass. Don't run in front of me, you stupid girl. Oh, game AI. It's wonderful. Oi! Get the hell back. Oh, crap. It's one of those. Uh, can we kill that guy? No? Well, can we at least kill that guy? Yes. Why are there so many of you? I don't want to kill you all. Just leave me alone. Stop running. Thank you. Oh, there's another guy. He has a shotgun. I'd probably better kill him quite quickly. Oh, my God. There are a lot of them. Um, no, this isn't good. I uh, rather anticipated they wouldn't come from behind me and I could just get on with things. Seriously, how many police do you people have? Cut it out. Who is shooting me from behind? Stop that now. Okay. And we're back. Oh, great. Wait, how did you know its name? <laughs> um, also, how do I change weapon? That's the button. Fine, into the air. That's not into the air, that's possession. <laughs> Don't damage your allies. Great, now I can't shoot it properly. Because for some reason, my vigor has changed. I wanted that one. Right. So that's quite useful against those. Got it. Oh, apart from the fact I need to reload. There we go. Uh, so yes, and then after a few minutes after the Big Bang occurred, I think those tears of yours might come in handy next time we're in a scrape. Yes, yes, I think they would as well. Oh, how how unhelpful! But yeah, a few minutes after the Big Bang, the temperature was about one billion degrees Celsius, or pro what two two and a half billion Fahrenheit, I think. I'm not entirely familiar with the conversion factors, but you know, fairly bloody hot. And that's when the first larger nuclei formed. Not not atoms. Atoms aren't forming yet because electrons aren't binding with protons or anything like that. But the first nuclei, so helium nuclei, where it's two protons and two neutrons and that kind of thing, started to form. And then we skip ahead rather a large amount to 370,000 years after the Big Bang. And that's when the universe cooled down enough for the first atoms to form, you know, hydrogen and helium. So it was a few minutes for the nuclei and 370,000 before we were ready for atoms to pop into existence. So, yes, quite a, mu quite a vast difference. Um, uh, supplies would kind of be useful. Okay, let's, get, let's do that. Let's look for some supplies. Is that the bar? No, that must be the bar. Okay, in we go. What are you erring uh, just because everyone's dead? You're in a game, get used to it, everyone's going to be dead for a long time. You know, de death is common in games. Right, okay, we've got a few supplies, let's head out. Yeah, uh, there's probably something else in that back... Oh, I can't be bothered. <laughs> I really can't be bothered. But yes, after all of this happened, we now had some matter in the universe. We jump up onto a skyline and head out. Where's she? Does she have one of these things? I assume so. Um, there are very slight differences in the density of matter 
um, across the universe. It wasn't isotropic anymore, that all finished during the last phase. And the denser patches, under their own gravity, started to attract more of the matter around them, which made them denser and denser, and these gravitational hotspots pulled in matter until they became the first stars. Other way. Uh, that, that way. That, that way. Oh, right, we have to... Oh, blimey. Wait, no, how do I do that? <laughs> um, left control, reverse. Right, okay, there we go. Got it. Onwards. But yes, they became the first stars, planets, and eventually formed into galaxies, and um, all the other large-scale structures that we'll talk about in a later one. And that's a very, very v basic, very fast, very summarised version of the formation of the universe. Oh. Wow, that's creepy. Um, I missed a lot of stuff out simply because there isn't time in a 15-minute episode to go through the entire thing. In fact, there isn't time in, you know, several full academic papers Hooker, worth to go through rifle. through the full thing. Sniper rifle. Here, ammo! Take this! Thank you. I'm going to try and duck now. Where's this sniper guy? Uh, oh. Oh, no, that's... That's not... No. I'll keep my eyes open for more. How do you zoom in? <laughs> um... Z? Yes, okay. Z. Where is he? Okay. Um, right, well, I think we're going to call, call that a day there. And we will try and figure out who the hell we're supposed to be shooting next time. Uh, please do look at all the links in the description. Uh, they'll give you a much more comprehensive covering of this topic if you want to learn about it. Uh, lots of them will be fairly technical. Uh, that's inevitable in this. But do have a look. It's a fascinating thing. It's where we all came from, and it's well worth looking at. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Uh, farewell.